Hi everyone, welcome to North Star Knife Reviews. Uh, coming to you on a Sunday afternoon and responding to an open tag from Williams Knife Life. Now, uh, Williams Knife Life actually has three tags out right now, small, medium, and large lockbacks. Um, I am probably just going to do the small lockbacks because uh, I don't think I have time to do all of them. Um, and I also am doing a little video of my own, uh, an open tag, to follow this up. So that'll be up shortly after this. Now, I do have a couple more small lockbacks in the collection. I just couldn't find them this quickly. Um, you know, I have a big dresser with knives in it, and you know, the boxes are sometimes three and four deep. Uh, and so sometimes I know I've got something, but unless I really wanna sit down and look through, I may not be able to find it right away. Um, but these are most, I think, of the small lockbacks I have. Uh, I know I've got at least one other little cub lockbacks. Um, and I know there is a Utica lockback somewhere that I have. Uh, and I, but I'm not 100% sure. What, uh, like a little wooden handle one. I'm not 100% sure where it is. Um, but these are many of them. So let's take a quick look at them. First, uh, we have this little... Cub Lockback from Rough Rider. This is in the Copper Swirl series. Um, see, uh, I thought a lot of you are probably familiar with these. They're just a nice little fifth pocket knife, uh, really good for opening packages, things like that. Nice little finger trial. And this Copper Swirl series has uh, copper, little bits of copper in the uh, acrylic handles, and then the copper bolster. Uh, I do have one or two more of these. I cannot remember exactly which patterns, but or excuse me, which designs, but I do have them. Next, let's take a look at this knife. And I've done a review of this one. This is a Cutmaster. Uh, you can see on here, Utica. Uh, actually, I guess maybe they just sold this under their Utica brand name. Sorry. Um, this one, I believe, is under the Cutmaster name. But they're both made by Utica. This, I believe, came out probably in the 80s, maybe into the 90s. It's got an acrylic handle with the uh, deer seen under. They did a whole series of these, um, like maybe four or six, with different animals uh, and fish. But, um, you know, nice little, nice little blade, uh, like the you know, sort of one sweeping arc here. Feels very nice in hand as well. Uh, so that's Utica. Then this one is from Utica also, but this one uh, is branded as their Cutmaster line. You can see here. Um, and uh, most of the Uticas are actually branded Cutmaster for quite some time. Uh, but again, this same basic design, except here you have a figural brass handle with a uh, firefighter theme on it, which I think is kind of cool. And then you could put, you know, initials on this side if you wanted. But uh, again, nice little, nice little knife. Then we have this Schrade Old Timer. This is the 3OT. Yep, yeah, there you go, 3OT. Small little lockback. This is a Chinese made one. I don't have a US made version of this, but it's got the Delrin handles. Uh, you know, the old timer shield, you know, very traditional looking, uh, like they've made them for a number of years. Nice little knife. This is, I, I've done a review of this one as well. This is a marbles uh, in the D2. You can see you've got the D2 shield here. So just making sure you know what it's made of. Um, again, this is a nice little, uh, nice little lock back, very traditional looking, uh, or at least traditional from uh, the 1960s onward, I suppose. Uh, but this just came out a few years ago, uh, maybe two years ago. And it's a good little knife as well. All of these are decent little knives. Now, if you wanted something modern, but or not modern, a traditional, but a recent one, but still uh, an American made knife, this is a Buck. And this is the Buck Nano Bantam. So in their Bantam series, it's got just the, you know, the plastic composite handles, uh, small blade and the 420HC, you know, just a two and a half inch blade um, and a little lock on the back. So 
nice, feels pretty good in hand. Uh, and get about a three finger grip on it. Um, pretty light. Uh, now I'm not sure exactly how well this plastic would hold up, but uh, you know, it still would work. And then another American option. This uh, is from Case, and this is the 225 LSS. So this one's in stainless steel. Uh, has a hollow grind on it, um, similar to the buck in size. You know, both of these would be just, if you wanted just a little lock back uh, that you don't have to spend too much money. You know, these are both less than $20, um, but you want an American made knife. These are options. This one has, you know, the little uh, camouflage handle, but you can get it in a number of other colors uh, as well. And then finally, sort of the big boy on this group, um, the Cold Steel Tough Light. Uh, just, you know, a classic little lock back. Very, very strong lock. Uh, really good ergos. Um, I really like this knife. It's really nice in hand. You know, it can easily open things. Uh, packages and all that. You've got this Warncliff style blade. So those are my small lockbacks. Uh, missing just a couple, but these are many of them. Hope you found this interesting. Thanks to uh, Williams Knife Life for the open tag. I will catch you next time. Y'all have a good day.